See you guys. Yet again, uh, the floor of my underground basement laboratory. Not to be mistaken with the laboratory. Um, yeah, this arrived today. And, uh, it's the biggest tube in my collection, pretty much. I am not going to tell you which tube it is yet. It's not a Russian tube, it's not an American tube, it's not a German tube. Opening uh, the package with my handy dandy Gerber. Everybody who works with science should own a Gerber. And no, Gerber's not yet a sponsor, but they should be. Okay, that went well. That was much easier than expected. Boom! Packaging material. That was fun. Also known as peanuts. So yeah, I'm just gonna make a mess here and just suck me that up. <laughs> but it's gonna be so worth it. Or something. Yeah. And if just if you're watching Tristan, which you probably are, uh, you know what this tube is. It's a whole lot of fun. That's what it is. Ah, oh, that's heavy. I wonder how it even got the thing in there. Okay. Yo! Jesus, that's heavy. Oh, there we go. This is a thick camera mojo. So guys, this would be a Thompson TH290, if I, remember, if I recall correctly. It is a 10,000 watt tetrode. And yes, I mean literally 10,000 watts. And it's just dissipation, 10,000 watts. So this uh, Nardi heat sink, 10,000 watts. Thing is, it's got a ding it ding here. It's I've got a ding here. I think somebody ran the screwdriver down that hole. Um, yeah, the heat sink's like totally oxidized and stuff, but yeah, the grip's still okay. This appears to be brass. And it actually, I'm gonna put this down again because it's freaking heavy. Um, it's got the Thompson logo right there. There's the name of the tube, Tom, the Thompson logo. It says TH290 there. And then Thompson CSF. I think that's what it says. Yep. Mm, that's just heavy. Um, this cap, as I mentioned in my other video, is to conceal a piece of pipe which was used to suck out the air, uh, also known as evacuating the tube. Uh, there were two of these on eBay. I got one of the two. The other one I was sort of outbid. But, mm, yeah, the other one was in much better condition. I kind of got overbid. Didn't notice it. So, yeah. This used to be a coppery finish, so it looked somewhat like this. But, time has done its share and corroded away the copper. I am currently thinking about. I'm bending these heat sink, heat sink parts. I'm still trying to figure out what the hell did the person do with this poor little tube to bend the heat sink that much. Because honestly, I got no clue. Yeah. The only thing I know about this tube is it's got 10,000 watts of dissipation, and that's literally the only thing I know. If anybody knows more about this, vac this particular vacuum tube, uh, please comment because I want to know. And if you could find something uh, 
if you found a dashi, I'd be very, very happy. Because dashi are cool. I like data sheets. Especially for, uh, about tubes that I have and that are quite huge. Yeah. Uh, a little history on this tube. It was made in um, France. Uh, this one got, uh, this particular tube then went to uh, Wien, which is in uh, Austria. And that's where I got this tube from. Uh, it was probably operated, uh, power, uh, it, was op it was probably operating in a push pull transmitter. Uh, because there were two of these. Probably a TV transmitter. Because it was a tetrode. The offer had the tube lying like this. Which also looks quite cool. So, um, yeah. Big giant piece of copper. It weighs about, uh, I guess, 6 kilograms. Uh, I'm probably going to clean it up a bit. Because I, I like good looking tubes. Yeah, so my largest tube in my collection so far. And, um, yeah, I'm very happy. And the ceramic part down there has got that, that smears and schmutz on it. And yes, that's a German word in the English language. Don't comment or anything. That was just radiator in the background. Yeah, it's, it's, I, I, it actually looks like this the thing has got the same heat. Um, Connector as my one and a half kilowatt RCA tube, which I showed in the Christmas vlog because I got it around Christmas. And uh, by the way, guys, I'm getting I am currently waiting on another vacuum tube which I ordered. And um, you guys are gonna uh, guess or do something or do like a guessing thing to find out which vacuum tube I actually got. Uh, the only thing I'm going to say about it is, it's 140 watts of dissipation, and it's a Russian vacuum tube. It's a glass-type tube. And it's a tetrode. Let's see if somebody actually comes up with an answer. And no, you're not going to win any anything, but you are going to be mentioned in the next video. Plus, adding to your channel if, you, if somebody actually manages to succeed in guessing the vacuum tube. Which I sort of doubt. And no, Tristan, you're not going to t um, tell them what the tube is. So, no commenting for you, Tristan. You know too much. Um, yeah. Oh, by the way, this thing is more powerful than Tristan's uh, GU39B-1. He's very fussy with the dash one part of it. The uh, GU39B-1 uh, has 8 kilowatts of dissipation. This thing's got 10 kilowatts. If we're going to have a B plus voltage of something around five to ten thousand volts, which is going to be lots of fun. I might build a VTTC with this, but I'm going to have to see. And if you want to see how difficult running ten thousand watts looks like, uh, a guy named Roger in Ohio, or just Roger, uh, has uh, got a VTTC, crude VTTC, running off a five kilowatt pole pig transformer running a 3CX uh, 10,000, or was it 4CX 10,000? I don't remember. Um, I'm going to do a video on how to read the AMAC names and stuff, so it's going to be fun. And the 3CX 10,000 is just about the same size as this tiny thing, so... Yeah, I was actually expecting a bigger vacuum tube, to be honest. And I'm still trying to figure out how the previous owner managed to ding up this tube that much. That would be kind of interesting to know. If there's a radio engineer uh, watching this, which there probably is going to be one, could you please comment on, uh, and explain to me how the hell did somebody manage to do this? It's a huge freaking ding. Maybe the heat sink's somewhat okay, so I might be able to get some uh, airflow through there. This thing right here, not a problem, but this thing kind of worries me, but the copper is like a millimeter thick. How the hell can somebody damage something like this? So, yeah. We have to build a socket for this, because I'm not doing that ghetto connection thing with the uh, Litzenstrand wire, or Litzenstrand, as it would be pronounced in Germany English, or in... Yeah, the... Never mind. Um, he just used zip ties pretty much and Litzenstrand wire to connect 
up the filament uh, and other parts. And he was running the tube like this. You don't run these tubes with the anode down, you run them with the anode up. That's what they were designed for. So, yeah. Kind of happy that I got this tube now. Yay! Biggest freaking tube in my collection. And it weighs a goddamn ton. So, yeah. Nothing else to say right now, other than this thing is freaking awesome! And I still need a data sheet for this. So, so if anybody has a data sheet or you can tell me how the thing actually happened, do, do so because I want to know. And I'm currently thinking about getting another GU type tube. Because I really like Russian vacuum tubes. Vacuum tubes are cool. And I almost got a uh, 4CX uh, 15,000 one with its original socket, but I didn't bid. Ran out of time before I could actually bid on it. But, you know, what the heck. I'm gonna get me some other tubes soon. So, yeah. Bye bye, YouTube, and um, have fun tube coiling and doing other kinds of fun stuff with, that, uh, with the vacuum tubes. And uh, the other thing, I'm going to have a vacuum tube collection page up and running in like four months, which, has, which is going to have pictures of all my vacuum tubes, the larger ones at least, and uh, descriptions of the vacuum tube, maybe a bit of history on that particular tube where I got it from and stuff, and data sheets if I can find them. Thus avoiding the uh, thus avoiding the trouble of getting data sheets. Uh, well, it it makes it easier for you guys to find the data sheets and stuff. If you know what the tube looks like, you can just click it and you see the data on the data I know on it. Now this particular tube, I got no clue what it what it can do in more. Well, I know that's ten thousand watts and stuff, but other than that, yeah.